Day two. I have shithead with me. Oh, fuck. Ben. I have shithead with me. Hi. He is my grunt. Battery holder. He's a battery holder and um, hokey pokey man. He's going to do the hokey pokey today. That's what we figured out we're going to do with this thing. So, <clears throat> unbeknownst to me, yesterday when I calibrated this, probably didn't do it quite correctly because I can't have the batteries in here. And I tried doing it this morning and it actually battery slid forward and, and broke out one of my, <laughs> my freaking lights. So I have sh Pokey Pokey Man holding my batteries. We'll see if that makes any difference. It'll be kind of close to it whenever he's got to do it. So this morning I have all everything in here. We're going to switch this thing on my radio. This is my switch that I have set up for putting it into GPS. And we are gonna go to calibration mode. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hot, we're in calibration mode, hot damn. Okay. All right, boy, pick it up, keep it level. Spin very slowly. Let's go back. Which direction? Clockwise. Just like spinning a spin. Yeah, spin flat. Slow, 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 slow. I didn't realize it was going to be this slow. Oh, yeah. It's got to be super slow. When that thing, when that light inside there turns green, keep going. Nice, steady pace. Put it on its nose, straight up and down. I don't know when it's going to turn green. It'll turn green when you make the complete circle. Okay. Green, now point it on its nose. Oh, keep it straight up and down. Don't fuck it up. Go real slow. Slow! This fucking thing is huge. Yeah, I know. So, the, the way he's holding it, the batteries are kind of close to the spot where they should be. <laughs> now, the light should go out once you complete the whole circle. Now, I put it back. Did it go out? Yeah. Is it blinking? Negative. Okay. It's good. Put it down. Oh shit, you had your watch on, didn't you? Huh? You have your watch on? No. Okay, where's your phone? In your pocket? Yeah. Shit. All right, well. <laughs> We're not. Chris would chew your ass. Well, Chris is not here, so. Chris is, Chris is doing his, his, uh, his other stuff, so. All right, now we can put the batteries in and we'll go test this thing and see if it'll still toilet bowl all the way around the same spot. So I'll get it up in the hover. Hopefully he'll be able to zoom in on the little light that's in there. So whenever you get in there, and we'll see if this thing will freaking toilet bowl. Can't see the light now. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so without changing anything other than the puck position, it fixed the toilet bowl effect of what it was doing yesterday. It got into that big toilet bowl effect. So, my gurus were right, which I never doubted for one second. <laughs> Let's go fly around in GPS mode to see if it works. adjustments to get that little bobble out. And I'm really pushing on the stick to get it to go forward. So. There's definitely some adjustments that need to be made. But I can fly around like Tony now. <laughs> <laughs> so I should be able to stop. Right at mid stick. You can see. And now my battery's dead, so we'll have to come in and land. But I'd say that was a successful, successful flight. Now we're gonna go to manual mode. You see how smooth it got, so that's, that is the uh, adjustments in the NASA.